1990 then is when the Rams made their first playoff appearance as JSPC. Didn't lose any regular season games. And Bill, uh, a lot of uh, great skill plays uh, that we're going to see here. But uh, it would only be fair to mention the offensive line. I, and Joe and I have talked in the fall of 1990, Maybe the biggest and the best combined offensive line that JSPC has had. What do you think about that? Oh, I think so. There, uh, I remember when I came my first year, those guys were sophomores, and uh, I just remember watching them play sophomore football and how outstanding they were there. And we knew this would be a pretty good group, and uh, they were big and they were strong and they had a great attitude. Uh, I can remember going down to Perry and beating Perry six to nothing, and and uh, Benji Luther, I think, saying. This is the beginning of eight straight or something, and we thought, oh, that could be a long year. But he knew, he knew what he was talking about, and so he and and uh, who coached has coached with us the last two three years, and David Wright coming back and coaching was the center on that football team, and uh, we had uh, uh, Lon Suber, we had Jake Shell, we had who else that I'm leaving out here, uh, uh, not Ryan East, but Justin Justin East, and Ryan played later for us. Uh, Fiedler played back in those days too. Michael, uh, and a lot of them having brothers, you know, played since then. But what an outstanding group of people that played both offense and defense uh, for us. And uh, we always give credit to the backs, and they're fun to watch and all that. But boy, these linemen, without them, we would not have the success that we had during those years. And the uh, the offensive lines since then, Joe, have been pretty good, but. But that is kind of one that we measure other lines by, hasn't it? Well, they had uh, they had the size all the way across the front, and they and they were a good team. It was, it was just a, a good blend of uh, of the athletes together. And then you, well, obviously they were good because they were ripping all those holes open for Steve Carey and that, that crew to on the big runs, and uh, uh, they were. It was that was a, that was just a good group, as you say. And some of the others you're going to see here on the film uh, include Jim Mengel and Kelly Locke, also uh, Aaron Schroeder. That's his sophomore year. He got in the starting lineup mid-season, and then of course was a, a thousand-yard rusher twice. I forget the game, but I'll never forget that because you knew all of a sudden Aaron Schroeder comes onto the field and here's this little sophomore, and he he's sort of a short runner. And he's hiding behind that big offensive line, and as a sophomore, all of a sudden, it was just like a bolt of lightning. My goodness, we got a runner behind these guys. And he just came out of nowhere, and obviously went on to have just a great career as a as a running back uh, uh, for the Rams. And I, to this day, I think uh, he was, between the tackles, maybe the best runner the Rams have had. He did, wasn't the fastest thing, maybe not getting to the corners, but between the tackles, he could pick them up and lay them down. Yeah, he, his feet would never stop, so he was just moving all the time. And the other player that really got a lot of yards for him, and I think was one of the best fullbacks you ever had, was Kelly Locke. He was such a tall, you know, sort of a string bean, actually, but I think he was strong and powerful, and uh, I thought always uh, he blocked extremely and, well. And had him. good speed for a fullback, yes. as I recall. Uh, so those are some of the people that we're going to look for. Uh, see who else, who else you can spot here in the highlights of 1990 JSPC football. How much time left before halftime either. That's right. And there's a sack. I think that's Michael Fiedler again in on the sack there. And Michael again having another very good ball game. Got a hand on it. Great pressure it. by Kelly Locke again. Great. Quarter's gone now. Rams still leading by the slimmest of margins. Seven to nothing. One touchdown. This play goes about half the distance to the goal. Ball's about the three-yard line. Again, Michael Fiedler in on the hit and keeps him from getting any uh, gain at all on this play. So the Tigers can't do it running. They try the little swing pass back here, and there's a loss. That was a great uh, solo tackle by Michael Blanchard there. When that ball was caught, it looked like it probably was going to be six. Now the Rams... Facing Algona Garrigan at Landeska Field. Here's Aaron Schroeder. Breaks a tackle. Nice cut to the outside. One of his many touchdowns. And Schroeder 
a sophomore that season, is in from 34 yards out. Nate Carver doing the field goal kicking, also against Garrigan. He connects from 34 yards out, one of the longer field goals in JSPC history. And here's Steve Carey taking the reverse pitch, also against Garrigan. Nice hesitation move, finds the seam and into the end zone. Rams take to the air, Nate Wright on the receiving end of a Mark Lane pass against Dallas Center Grimes, a very key ball game in the Raccoon River Conference race. Same game, Rams get a little fortunate here. Lane's pass is deflected off of the Mustangs. Steve Carey catches it. Only the sprint speed of uh, Dallas Center Grimes is able to catch. Carey at the five. Finally, Ball's going to pop up in the air here. And Walker comes away with it. That seals the win against Dallas Center Ground. Here we come back with Steve Carey, and we miss a block, but he makes a tremendous move and cuts it up and then uh, gets thrown, uh, I think, out of bounds down inside the 10 or right at the 10-yard line. Great. 537 yard line, so this is a great way to start, and especially since we have a great play coming up. Watch Jake Shell spear this pass right out of the air. Bullet pass, Jake returns it to the Waukee 18, and the Rams once again are threatening. And he There's another it. pass, and this sack by Justin East, it's it's uh, ruled a, f a forward pass, but it's... 1991 is up next. Uh, this year, noteworthy for um, several things. The only JSPC uh, football playoff win. It came over Webster City, and we'll see some highlights from that. 14-8 to eight at Lundeska Field, a real uh, chilly uh, early November, uh, late October evening. The uh, uh, a couple other things that stand out there. The Rams really took a slacking from Emmitsburg early in the season, 40 to nothing, losing at home. Uh, Bill, and I think the second game of the year, that team really bounced back and didn't lose again until the, the second round of the playoffs against Spencer up in the Dakota Dome. Right. I think, you know, and, and we usually play, try to play good teams in our two non-district games all the time, and you find out right away how good you have to be to play with those types of teams. And Emmitsburg was an excellent football team. Uh, they played, I think, the same night as we did up the Dakota Dome, and uh, when we played Spencer, and I think that uh, come eight weeks later from when we got shellacked by them, I think we could have had a good ball game with them up there. Uh, so we really improved. They made up their mind. They really wanted to come through for us, and uh, it was fun. And so many great players again on that team. I remember Mike Blanchard was the fullback, I think. And, and uh, Very good the fullback. ADM game, I think, was the one that, just seemed to go down every ADM game. Anytime you mention ADM, it's going to go down the wire. But I think that was like a 14-8 ball game, which was uh, really tight. And uh, that was a highlight game for me. And then uh, we we beat Weber City in the playoffs that year, and that was just a phenomenal football game. Kerry was a senior, Joe Carver. Uh, Nate Wright has a couple of great catches on the highlight film here. Uh, some of the uh, seniors on on that team, and this is uh, Aaron Schroeder's junior year, the first time he tops a thousand yards. And, and one to go back, it's probably not on the highlight tape, but go back to that Emmitsburg game. That's also the the, the play of the hit with uh, with Nate Carver, where Nate got hit by someone from Emmitsburg, and I, I've seen Nate lately, and he still remembers it. And I ran into someone to, from Emmitsburg, and they knew I was from Jefferson several months ago, and they remembered that hit about Nate Carver getting laid out because he was knocked into next week on that hit, and it was just like someone had let a bomb go off on the field. Well, that might be on Emmitsburg's highlight film, but it's not on this one. <laughs> but it's certainly a memorable play, and you, you bring it up to Nate Carver, he sure hasn't forgotten that play, and I think anybody who was in the stands that night has not forgotten that hit well, because actually, it was big. I'm surprised Nate remembers that play, to tell you the truth. <laughs> Let's look at some of the many highlights from 1991 JSPC football. The Rams against Dallas center Grimes at Lindeska Field. Aaron Schroeder for a 30-yard touchdown run. And some great Ram defense to break up a Mustang pass. Good hard hit there. Right 
running back. Weaver rolling right. Bullet pass. Almost intercepted. Is it picked off by Blanchin? Diving try. Yes! That's it. Defense being called on, and there's Nate Carver in fourth and two. The goal line stand for the Rocky River Conference title. Ball game being played in 1991 in Adel. And hold on this running play. If the Tigers score in the last moment, they probably will win the conference title. ADM jumps. The Tigers get to about the three or four yard line. And wins the Rackham River Conference title and qualifies for the playoffs. It's 1991 contest. And a very high. Nate and Aaron Schroeder takes off down the near sideline and goes 72 yards in the first quarter for a touchdown. Michael Blanchin. Intercepting a gator pass, ran two at this knock up in the air by Steve Carey. To ice it for the Rams on that reverse pit. Beautiful spin move right there. Cuts it back, and Carey has gone 72 yards for the touchdown. Next, the Rams are at Seidel. Not a particularly long run by Aaron Schroeder, but watch how many. Eagles it takes to get him down. 15 yard run. Four, five, six, and finally the seventh and eighth Saydell would be tacklers. Now the Rams get a bit of a break, a deflected pass. Touchdown from uh, Carver to Nate Wright off of Steve Carey. 89 yards coming up. Now some of this was called back due to penalty, but a great Steve Carey punt return against Saydell in 1991. And the Ram wall is set up to block. Carey finally runs out of gas at the 10. That was a that was a great cut by Carey. Normally on that counter play it's kind of a scissors and he'll angle off. Carey catch from the Carver. Defensive lap here. Flaps. Right there. Steve would have remembered that all his life if he, if he dropped that one. And here comes this pass out here. We get the interception. Steve Carey picked it off. This is what we were talking Against Ballard, Carver and Carey hook up for a 35-yard scoring play. Steve breaks two tackles. Carry again. One of those great punt returns. Into the end. Now in the lone JSPC playoff win. This game over Webster City, 14 to 8. 34 yards. Carry again. 25 yards on this time. And Schroeder is in the end zone from six yards out against the wall. And defense is called upon now as Webster City decides to rally. The Rams on defense once again. Missed the court on the screen play in the 